Hello, my pretties. I have a quick message from your spirit guides. This is just something um, really quick. I was pulling for myself and spirit said I should um, share this message with you guys. Um, Let me share something with y'all real quick. For those of y'all who read tarot, look at this deck, right? One of you guys bought this for me. This is my first time reading with it, right? Now, I don't think it's my first time reading with it. First time reading with it publicly. You, you ever had a deck that you don't feel anything from? Do you guys feel energy coming over there? That's weird, right? Maybe I just gotta look at it for a little while. I said, it's the only deck. This the only is deck I don't feel no energy coming from. So let's see what's up. All right, so you guys, this there's going to come a time, which is right now, okay? Right now. Um, I always say we work with the universe and not against it, okay? So even though we would like to do our own thing, I always work with the universe. If the universe is doing something or supporting a certain type of energy at that time, that's what I'm going to run with, okay? Um, I try to stay in harmony uh, with the cosmos, all right? Um, and the planetary alignments and so on and so forth. So there's a need to stay in your prayers, all right, you guys? Um, there's something that wants to uproot you, okay? Um, and you see this water energy here. This is this is this is the earth sign card, but you see this water energy here. I don't know if you guys caught that uh quick jewel that I dropped in the video where I said the marine spirits are going to be rising, okay? One of the things that spirits told me is that their job or their agenda, okay, these sea monsters, I mean, they coming from all the way down below i'm talking about it's a whole other world down there um and it's hell i didn't know that i just found that out that hell is underwater hell is under under the sea i never knew that um but anyway um their job is to play on our emotions okay as they are marine spirits they will literally manipulate the emo emotions of everyone okay um if you are not rooted and grounded okay in your energy and that's one of the things that spirit wants you to do okay this is how you're going to be able to outwit the devil per se and his helpers the way that you're like spirit wants you to transform the way you're looking at things okay somebody may want to cuss out a scorpio or you could be a scorpio that don't have no problem telling somebody where to go spirit saying just chill on that for right now okay Chill on that for right now, just because, like I said, the energy that the universe is in right now, we're going through war. And so we got a bunch of beings whose agenda is to uh, destabilize us. Does that make sense? Oh, shit. To make us unstable. Okay. Um, stay grounded. One of the things that's going to help you stay grounded is your prayers. All right. Make sure you are constantly cutting cords. There's another thing that could happen um, when these energies, uh, with these energies in their attacks, okay? It may be hard for you to speak up for yourself, okay? You might have just the opposite of this type of energy telling someone where to go and standing up for yourself, okay? You may have a problem with telling somebody no, okay? We are, the people that I'm speaking to, are in this part of the journey, okay, and have been for a while where it's like we cut people off. Everybody has to go. If you're not conducive to my spiritual journey, you got to go. Some people aren't, some people get real nasty about it, okay? I've learned that. People will really attack you, lie on you, slander you, do this and do that if you do not want to associate with them anymore um whether it's something they did or whether it's just spirit said no or whether you needed to focus okay whether it is another thing to uh, somebody could you know encourage you to um have some sort of addiction like if you know you like to go out drinking with your friend your best drinking buddy and you are on your spiritual journey journey to recovery right somebody just had a sex change or something like that or a boo job or something if you notice, then it's like, okay, so I can't really hang out with you anymore because I'm going to be extra vulnerable. Like, I'm going to see 
you know, you smoking and I'm going to want to smoke. I'm going to see you drinking and I'm going to want to drink. So you have to, I have to release you for now until I am stable, rooted and grounded enough to not be peer pressured by the smell of your cigarette. Okay. And that person may get upset. Normally, the people that get upset are the people that didn't have 100% great in intentions, but people don't like being rejected. So you have to learn to speak up for yourself, okay, with the communication and throat chakra here. There's somebody that needs to tell their family from overseas, no? Somewhere over the rainbow. They not that destitute. I'm hearing it's the hard knock on life. Somebody could always be begging for something at a distance. This is going to be a slow and steady process. You're going to need to wake up and smell the roses. Spirit is saying, be here now, okay? Make sure that you are present in every moment. Some of us, you know, have the tendency to, during this spiritual journey, so many things happen to us and so many things change. And, you know, it's rough, it's traumatic, and sometimes it even gets mundane. We have learned to be on autopilot, okay? Spirit wants you to um, stay in the now always pray okay prayer is going to keep you grounded I, I i'm getting the energy of like there's somebody here that wants you to curse them out it really it, it feel like a scorpio i just heard taurus okay it's a virgo for some of y'all or it could be an aquarius it's like girl i can tell you've been feeding and you need somebody to cuss you girl this person is desperate you don't have to, um, you do not have to give anyone what they want, okay? I remember, and I will never forget a life lesson taught by uh, a child in my family. Um, she was complaining about the girls in school that was bothering her. And so I was tired of hearing, hearing about it. So I said, well, why don't you just, you know what I'm saying, retaliate? She was like, no, I have a test. And I don't have time to be stressed out. I'll handle them after December, okay? Yeah, you'll handle them when you get to them, okay? They cannot have your uh, attention. This is somebody that want to start drama. Somebody can have blue hair or pink hair. I've been hearing a lot of racial slurs. Uh, not a lot, but this is the second racial slur I heard while I was reading. So I don't know who watching my channel um, that's like racist or some shit like that. Or is going through some sort of racial uh, discrimination. But it feel like a racist watching. Scram, dag nabbit. <laughs> Scram, dag nabbit. It could be a Leo. Um, somebody just had a boob job. And it, it's infected. But it could be a Leo that is here encouraging certain people to try to argue with you or something like that. These things, these people are being led. There's somebody who, who arm is, um, it could be amputated, broken, cuts and scrapes and bruises. Um, these people don't, I'm, these people don't like their lives right now. And they don't like your life. They don't like their life without you. These could be enemies, people that you once were cool with, okay, now turn enemies because you're in a new walk of life is what it feels like. Or maybe they even did something to you. But it's just like, they want your attention, good or bad. They don't care what it is. Look, five of wands, we want your attention. And you're like, listen, I'm done with y'all. Uh-uh. What in the hell? <sighs> yeah. I just feel like, look, it's like haunting, haunting. They want, they're haunting you is what it feels like. They want your attention so bad. They want you to be ungrounded. They want you to wig out, okay? I just heard to prove them right. They could be saying you crazy or whatever the case is. That's, that's another thing about these people. They'll say, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're violent, you're this, you're volatile, you're that. But y'all ain't never leave me alone, though. How are you scared of somebody that you're antagonizing? How are you scared of somebody that you're constantly, um, you know, throwing stones at? They want you to play into the narrative.
stay grounded because these people won't try to mess with you. I just heard pancake tits. I'm hearing like you're better than that. Yeah, with this free spirit energy, it's like you're better than that. You have freed yourself from being uh stressed out. Like this is what this is what you know my family member was talking about. It's like why why do I need to be stressed out? You know what I mean? While I got a test, cause I done punched you in your shit. No, I'll do it when I feel like it. I'm right now, I'm in recovery. I'm trying to heal with the page of pentacles. It's going to be a slow, long, and drawn out process. I'm ready for it. I'm grounded, okay? I'm saying my prayers. I'm keeping my feet planted in the ground. Um, I am getting communication from spirit. I'm on my best behavior. I will do you something later if I feel to. Right, with this nine of cups. Um, look at this. Just what I'm saying at the bottom is that I'm chilling. I got shit to do. Legs crossed. I'm chilling. I'm at peace. I don't have to argue with you. Somebody may like to skate. There could be a person here that is, uh, you know, just started doing spell work or something like that. Or making a grimoire or whatever the case is. Somebody may go to like ice skating party or a rollerblading party or something like that. Yeah, somebody's like, I'm cultivating, like I'm loving on the things that I have. I'm growing my pentacles right now. I have many and plenty opportunities and many and plenty things to do. And y'all just sitting here fucking watching. I don't want to be disturbed. Somebody's vibe is on do not disturb. And look, somebody wants to interrupt me. This person, these people want to interrupt your vibe. Here, listen to what I have to say. It's emotional and um, I'm trying to take you off your square, right? So let's see what this could be. I just, I just saw the word confessions. Somebody could be getting confessions from somebody that's underage. Like, you ever get to a point where you don't even want to hear that? Like, I don't even want, I don't, I've gone past even hearing, uh, stories. I'm sorry, y'all. This, I've gone past even wanting apologies or accepting apologies. Like, yeah, just don't talk to me at all. You know what I mean? Somebody's going to act like it's so urgent that they speak to you. It's very urgent. They're saying this could be someone in your family tree, okay? It's so urgent. What does this person have to say? Whoever this person is that you're going to be receiving a message from uh, may need some help cleansing themselves or something like that. Or may actually be asking for your forgiveness, maybe looking for reconnection. It says devoted spirits with specific intention. So this person could be some sort of agent or something like that. This could be bad or it could be good. Say something about this person offering you travel or something like that. Hope, optimism, and new beginnings in your relationship with her. A mouse may be significant here. Candles. I don't like this energy of inactivity and isolation because this is, you know, reminded me of the download that I picked up. Like somebody going to... Uh, Invite somebody to Vegas and like try to leave them stranded or some shit. I don't like this. They're saying that this particular person that's going to reach out to you is being guided by some sort of entity, okay? I feel like they're definitely going to give you heartfelt gratitude and maybe you'll be able to share wisdom. I feel like this person, there's something about like air kisses with this person. You guys could even talk about, you know, um, certain things about talent, music, writing, this, that, and the third. This person receives thought vibrations from an entity, okay? They do. They do. With the higher self and sacred intuition, this person is being led by some sort of entity that knows how to speak to you. This is your family. With the hidden truths and something unknown, I'm, te I'm telling you, what is the hidden truth? They're offering you this. They're talking nice and they want to get in your circle and your square and they want to, you know, be that special one that, um, you know, you give time to outside of your healing process, you know, where you're in hermit mode. So this could be, a, this is a queen of cups, ten of swords. Look at this. Don't this person look like they're on some sort of island or something like that? 
So she doing all of this. I heard somebody underarm stink. She doing all of this. Just to get you into the Ten of Swords, okay? With the hangman. To play you for a fool. Slowly but surely. I feel like every little piece of information you give this person, this could even be an Aries. I feel like every piece of information that you give this person, she take it back to the emperor. The emperor has been coming up as maybe your ex or, you know, somebody connected to the powers that be, okay? Um, someone who's been stalking you. Yeah, with the seven of swords, she takes the information back to this, this, um, somebody name could be Bird. Yeah, and they shake on it, okay? And she gets paid for it with the nine of pentacles. Sorry about this camera. Sorry. This person could like to wear name brand. Nah, sucky, ducky, be wearing a name brand. Oh, I got them. Oh, I do them, them, them. They could be something about a fedora or um, a tam hat, you know, like Pawi, Pawi. Okay, with the two of pentacles, that's this person going back and forth and spreading information. Could be to a Scorpio or whatever the case is. But this person with the ace of pentacles in the death would and, and the Diablo, this person would receive a payout if something were to ever. I just heard atonement, atonement. Shout is the type of person that would literally come. make. They will make your, your funeral lit, okay? Say a speech and everything. I heard red face. This person will say a speech and everything. They will play the music, tell jokes you told. They ready. For somebody, this could be a Libra. Pisces. Somebody who was there when you had your baby, I feel like. Could, could have been there for the birth of your baby or the baby shower. Why well, I feel like this 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 feminine energy in your family like everybody you like. She could um go both ways as well. What happened here? What happened between this? What happened? It could be two masculines that's out to get you. Queen of Swords and Four of Wands. Oh, they're sending her on this mission, okay? With the Ten of Wands. They're sending her on this mission. Yeah, the cards are starting to um, feel better for me. Yeah, collaborating with her. There's a Leo in collaboration with her as well. I just heard uh, diaper rash. She could be calling you to ask how's the baby or something like that. Or oh, I want to talk about the baby or check on the baby. Look at this four cups. You really don't want to be bothered, but she's forcing it is what it feel like. I feel like this person is forcing it, okay? Queen of Wands, they saying this person is, is, closet, is a closeted witch or got closeted uh, connections with witches, okay? Um, mostly uh, probably a Taurus and a Scorpio or something like that, but uh, two male energies, okay, that has passed the torch to her and, you know, have her on some sort of mission to come and bring back, yeah, I, I, I was going to say your business, but... They made me say your energy. Yeah, with the magician here and the lovers. Gemini could be involved, Virgo, and the chariot. They want to know who you're dealing with. They, this person is supposed to come back and tell them who you're sleeping with. I just heard Daisy, Lazy Daisy. Yeah, they want to know who you're who you dealing with. So to get more shows to rip, I suggest you all roll with the click. Who you with so they could break it up. That's why I be lying my ass off. That's why I lie through my teeth, okay? The only way I ever... Here's the trick, y'all, right? The only way I ever tell somebody or I will ever post a, a, a person that I'm dealing with is if I don't want to deal with them no more, okay? I know I got so many haters and I could sit there and be like, oh my God, look at my new lighter. Okay. They going to do a fucking lighter be going spell. Okay. A lighter explosion spell on my ass. Anything I say, anything I say. So if I want to get rid of something or someone, I just throw that relationship to the wolves because I know they'll eat it. Okay. Trinket. 
transmutation. Let 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 them let my enemies work for me. Anything I I don't want, it's trash. I, I I'll make it public or something like that, and act like I I love it to death, and I'm having fun with it. Okay. So we have the eight of cups and the eight of swords. Yeah, their job is to make everything and everyone leave you. Okay. Somebody jealous about of another person with a flat stomach? This shit always comes out. I just. So we have Leo, three of swords, and a seven of pentacles. I feel like starting all over again. Starting all over again, you know? Like, yeah, with the with the tower energy. It's like if you can't if you go and deal with these people, you're gonna have to start all over again. Yeah, with the temperance, it's gonna take a lot of patience. You don't need to deal with them. What they do, I feel like um is uh they bring up old feelings and they delay your healing process, okay? Plus, they are ops. There's a spirit guy here. I feel like the spirit guy may be a Capricorn or a Taurus or an Aries protecting you from this moon energy and bringing you justice, okay? I feel like you have a new lease on life, yes, with the Six of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, and you need to protect it, okay? Because it's going to lead to your Six of Wands. You're going places, and you're going to be somebody, and these people cannot go with you. Just imagine building your empire, and this old nosy bitch from your family, you know, come in and, hey, girl, okay, when really she wants to ruin you, all right, for, for a buffalo nickel. All right, selling you, selling you down a river for 30 shekels of silver, okay? I hope that helps. 